If you want to extract a business value out of agentic AI, you have to move beyond chatbots. That is where AI powered agentic workflows come into play. Just imagine a real world application. A real world application, whether it is AI or not, needs to talk to some external data points. It needs to talk to other AI agents or non AI agentic endpoints and that is why you need to build a complete end-to-end -end workflow this workflow would contain some parallel operations some sequential sequential operations some conditional workflows and so on and so forth that is why these days i'm observing a lot of startups are trying to build a workflow which would be ai powered and that would match users requirement sim is one of them and in this video i am going to install it locally and we will pair it up with olama to get it powered with a local model this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please consider becoming a member to the channel if you are looking to support the channel and if you want me to keep producing these videos and that would mean a lot i also want to introduce you to our good friends at transformers lab who are sponsoring this video transformer lab is one of the easiest way for anyone to train fine tune eval and generate data sets for llms and diffusion models it is open source and just works magically on your own machine across any platform it's for anyone whether you are a beginner or an expert to effortlessly run training experiments better and faster using the latest frameworks and best practices and you will find the link in videos description okay so let's try to get this same installed on our local system and then we will see how exactly it works and this is what it looks like when it is running where you can drag and drop different workflows with as i was explaining around your routing your conditional workflows and so on and so forth so i have this ubuntu system running i am going to use this nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram you can go with any sort of vram as long as your model fits into that because we are going to use olama with it you can even use some of the cpu based model but look uh, let's be fair if we want to use agentic ai which means we, we will be using tool calling function calling to access external sources you need a good model with agentic capabilities so that is why i am going to use it and if you're looking to rent a gpu on very good prices you can find the link to mass compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent first up i am creating this virtual environment with konda let's wait for it and now let me git clone the repo of sim and i will drop the link to it in videos description the repo is cloned now the only requirement which you need to have in order to get is this installed is docker so i have this recent version of docker installed if you don't know how to get it installed just go to my channel and search for docker and i have done a very easy to follow video to get the docker installed and then from the root of the repo simply run this command in order to get it set up with olama and it is setting up everything and by the way if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest ways to run large language models locally in a quantized way or even in full in some cases and you can just find the olama videos on my channel just by searching with olama and first time when you run this it also downloads a model and i believe it downloads the Gemma model there is a way to also add other models which i will also show you and while it configures everything let's talk a bit more about um, this tool i think um, the architecture seems quite nice and most of these tools are following similar sort of architecture so what happens is that this tool provides a drag and drop interface where users can build complex AI workflows by connecting modular blocks on a canvas. These blocks represent various functions such as AI model inference, data processing, conditional logic, and even integrations with external services. 
and they also say that you know it is quite easy to use it's enterprise grade and you can have even 60 pre-built integrations with a lot of other external tooling and you can also check it out so i'm just going to go with the open source one and i believe it is apache 2 license as long as you get it from the github and that is what i'm going to use for this video and all the containers are now started now as i mentioned that if you want to have your own model added to the olama all you need to do is to run this command for example i just want to use gpt oss 20 billion so i will just run this command it will use this olama's docker file and the model container in order to download that model so as soon as you run it it is going to download the model within the container and then it is going to serve it to you and the model is now download, downloaded all the containers are running now you can access this tool in your local host at port 3000 and there you go the same is running just sign up for the first time and this is what the canvas looks like of this same tool on the left hand side you have your uh, tool panel from the top you can either just edit this default channel or you can just create your own new workflow so for example i just click here it has given it a you know unique name i'll just say um, maybe fads i don't know if it can do that but let's do this so i just created my own workflow and then maybe i'll just drag and drop this agent here i'll just put the start here and i'll just take the agent here i will try to make it a bit smaller let me shrink it a bit now the good thing is that you can simply select your models from here you can go with gpt4 or you can just scroll down to see what other options are available i'm just scrolling down there's heaps of stuff available now at the very end you see this is the model which i have downloaded my gpt oss 20 billion now in the system prompt you can just give it um, any sort of uh, you know prompt that you are a comedian and you need to come up with some original joke in response to users any question that's it and then this this is where the user will be inputting stuff we'll just keep temperature to one now this is a fun part where you can add tools so tool is where you can use these tools to access external stuff like some built-in tools are available and you can also create tool here if you click on create tool you can just maybe uh, go with some mcp servers and then you can paste your schema or code and there is a lot of flexibility there so this will be the response format if you want to give it but i'm just going to keep it as is now there are some advanced mode too where you can also put in some more hyper parameters some chat templates and that sort of the stuff also you can expand the block if you like i'm just going to make it a bit smaller just to show you what it looks like in full this is what it looks like okay let's keep it like this okay so now we know what it looks like and um, you can also add some conditions function knowledge bases just to do some rag and even you can add some memory here a router is where you can just put in one router and then you can branch off in multiple directions looping and all the conditional workflows are there so you can make it as complex as you like and as you can see that the start button is already connected if this is not connected just drag and drop this output to the input of the second node and from there just click on chat if you want to test it and output sources just click agent one content so this is going to show us the output of whatever chat we do and then you can just uh, you know enter any context or user message and then click on run so as soon as i have just put it in hey how are you and then clicked on this you see this is a output it is also giving me all the latency and everything and this is a content that i am doing fabulously the only thing that's still trying to catch up on my 
life is my toaster which keeps refusing to pop up before the time so there is a lot of stuff there and then it is also laugh laughing there's emoji it's a thinking model as you know and there is a lot of data around it that's what it did this was a previous one where i just said hello and then it's a full chat now this is a console you can again chat with it there is a also a co-pilot which you can use but of course i'm not going to go there you can use uh, make it more dynamic by adding some variables into that and then you can duplicate it you can delete it and you can also get some help around it now um, for instance if i just click on knowledge here this is a knowledge for the agent and it's already connected you can also have multiple agents and then connect with it so for example this is where you can do search or you can just upload some uh, chunk or document and you can do vectorization you will need a embedding model for that you can also get it from olama if you like and then you can just connect it to your knowledge base and then the agent is going to answer it from there it's very straightforward now if you don't want to use uh, that and if you just want to um, you know use another agent just click another agent and then use it here this is agent 2 and both are connected you can also use a router and then from this router you can i just put it here now this is where you can have multiple agents so agent 1 agent 2 and then it goes on and on and on this is a bit advanced so i would suggest that you just start with individual agents first make them working and then you can attach it to your router and there is a lot of other stuff which you can check out in their documentation that's it uh, i'll be making more videos on it with more complex workflows but for now i think this is more than enough to get you started if you have any questions please feel free to let me know and if you like the content then please like the video and subscribe and also consider joining the membership as it helps a lot thank you for all the support